100 days ago, I set off on a mission to make 100 videos in 100 days. And this is the journey. This video was sponsored by no one. So click the link to get 25% off your first purchase of nothing. So the reason I did this was because being a daily content creator is something I've tried to do many times, but it's never quite worked out. So I decided to set myself a goal to hopefully make it a habit so I can keep going by this point. When I first started, I had 117,000 views and 380 subscribers. And my goal was to get to 200,000 views, so let's see what happened. It all started with this video talking about what names mean. Stephen means crown, the name Alyssa means noble, and it didn't go so well. So I continued to make videos about weird name shortenings. Nick is short for Dominic, name meanings but with specific themes. What do these celebrities' names mean? Part 1. Alright, first up, the name Michael means to tease someone. Reddit stories. This Karen let her dogs poo in this old man's yard. And a few more things. And the views gradually went up, getting me to 17,000 views for July. Then in August I went to Melbourne, so I had to just make random clips to keep this challenge going. And this did incredibly well. I got 9,000 views on day 28. Which is quite impressive when you look at the fact that it took me three years to get my first 9,000 views and then I did it in a day. And in that week I got 25,000 views which is insane because it smashed a lie and that's like more than I get in most years. After that my videos went back to normal and I started a few new shows as well such as words that contain Tom, pronouncing English words exactly as a spell, Becca Use, Lagaha, and words that Americans and Australians change the meaning of. Next up, we have chips, which are these things, but Americans went, no, we're going to call these things chips. On day 45, I was starting to feel the burnout really bad, but I had to just push through, and I managed to beat it by day 50. It was gone, which was great, but then four days later, I faced my hardest challenge because I had my wisdom teeth pulled out on the last day of August. So in August, I got 80,000 views. Luckily, my mum had recorded a few videos of me talking after my surgery. I, I can't feel it anymore, but maybe it's just all the swelling. <laughs> which was hilarious, so I was able to fall back on those for a few days while I was recovering. After those ran out, I had to go back to making videos, but there were some days where I just couldn't do it, so I had to lean on making bloopers for the past 100 days. So I'm about to, so, all, all, fuck. So I'm about, so I'm about to, me, so I'm about, so I'm about to memorize, or making more random clips. Then eventually I decided just to push through and make videos where I talk and I wanted to make videos that would be quick and easy to make so I started responding to other YouTubers videos And when they were ready they would hit them on the hammer <laughs> On the hammer And this is the point where I really started to take off getting 10,000 plus views on some of the videos which is something I only managed to achieve twice before the challenge. And by day 62, I got the same number of views that I had gotten in the nine and a half years before I started the challenge, which is pretty insane. And on day 76, I'd reached 300,000 views, and one third of those views came from the last 28 days, with a total of 113,000 views in September. On day 88, I had tripled my total view count. On day 99, my stats looked like this, so I decided I had to get to 400,000 views and 700 subscribers, before the challenge was up, so on day 100, I made a video every six hours, and the final result is... I did it! For views, that's an increase of 293,059, 249.5%, and 2,930.5 a day. And for subscribers, it's an increase of 347, 91.3% and 3.4 a day. And one of those five videos was my first ever to reach 20,000 views. And also I got 23,000 views in that day. So on day 100, I reached these six milestones. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. I really appreciate it. I just can't comprehend how big the numbers are. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. This does not mean I'm gonna stop posting daily. If I miss a day, that's all good, but I will try and put a video out every day. Now I've got some people I want to thank. So first up, I want to thank Sean for watching most of, if not all, my videos and the challenge. She's been here since my series was training back in 2019. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a bloody important my YouTube video. Next up, I want to thank my friends Barry Manchild, It's Alex Mainly, Clint Cure, Piers Vladijar, Leanne Armstrong, and Jordan Loy for being in that one episode of Names You Didn't Realize Were Shortenings. That's a short for Bailey. We are short for... And my final thank you goes to my dear old friend Zara Does Life. She was working post talking about how she changed careers and she was finally doing what she wanted to do without trying to get the approval of others. Which is a message I strongly agree with and I think that you should always do what you want without worrying about what other people think. 
and that's something I thought I would never do because I don't really worry about what other people think. Well, remember how I said that I've been trying to make daily videos for a long time now? This made me realize that the reason why I haven't been doing it is because when I start posting every day, people start unsubscribing and the posts made me realize how hypocritical I was being. So thank you to her for giving me that kick in the face that I needed. Go check out her Instagram and tell her I said thank you. Links in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching again and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.